is Saturday, and it is a wonderful Saturday morning. The sun is shining, it's warm, it is way better than last Saturday. I don't know if you remember my video from last week. It was a little rainy, it was dark, it was cloudy, it was chilly, but today the sun is shining. I'm glad to be out and about. I am headed this morning to the Gym City Comic Con. Now, I've never been to the Gym City Comic Con before, so I don't totally know what to expect. I've been told that it's about 90% comics, 10% toys. So I am going uh, just to film, see what toys they have, maybe meet some new people. Um, I'm not a comic book collector anymore. I was as a kid. I had quite a few comics, but I've sold off all my collection. Um, but I am really excited to see what's there and uh, to just meet some new people and talk and hopefully get some good footage and also hopefully to find a good toy, obviously. That's what we're going for. So I will see you when we get there. All right, so we made it in. We are here at the Mavericks booth. I got some pretty nice stuff here. How are you? Trying to not get into those, but they're pretty nice. I like those figures. Let's see what else we got. We got some. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, if you're into Game of Thrones. Yes. Star Wars figures. We're going to do the here, though. I'm hoping that it My goal is not to Yeah. We are. I'll be coming by with more stuff. I'm pedaling, so. Oh, we'll get five. Yeah, we'll get five. Oh, we'll get five. Everything's great. You guys are great. All right, so what do you have to do? Get a badge, okay. and then one of our bounty hunters will come hunt you down through the con, and then when they find you, they I back see, here. I and see. All the money we're raising today is for Dayton Children's Hospital. All right, great. Keeping it local. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, that's a nice costume. All right, so we got some Marvel Legends here. Old cable. We got a wall of pops. Let's see here. Black series. Let me get some of these out. Nothing crazy. Crazy with the black series. Looks like we got some Mezcos up there. If you're interested in any of those. I don't collect pops, but I am looking at that trap jaw pop. I like that. Okay, so they got some cool stuff here. If you like NECA, Alien, and Predator. They got a lot of aliens and predators here. Stranger things. I've not seen that one before, that's pretty nice.
That Cincy Nerd will probably be looking looking for those. Black series here. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it looks like we are at Roma's booth here. They got all these already. What's that? That's pretty cool. That is nice, but I'm definitely gonna try to get that for 20 bucks. Not, I'm not ready to pay 40 for that yet. Might have to end up doing that in the long term, but not quite yet. So we got Avengers here. And a lot of people will probably be looking for these today. And some Storm collectibles. Big Goro. Man, this thing is huge. It's a huge figure. But I mean, yeah, like I said, we've got them up front. But we've got Let's see. Stuff. Regular bucket and... Uh, okay. A lot of these Vitruvian hacks. They got several of those. Pretty nice. Kind of run through these real quick. Quite a bit of those, and of course, Mythic Legions. Seems like the booth to go to at any show. They were always loaded down with these. I'm betting Josh's video, we will see that he probably picked up about four or five of these. <laughs> they got a whole sack of them here yet to go up. So not quite ready to jump into this, but I do agree that they are nice figures. What's interesting is it seems like they're copying off of other things. So you see figures that look like He-Man figures, like old Dungeons and Dragons figures. Holy cow. Wow. That's awesome. There's no way I can do that, but holy cow, these are sweet. Man, that is huge. That is awesome. Really nice. Really nice. And Faker. Got the Rotom for 120. Wow, he's got some good stuff. Some really good stuff. Oh, he's got some of the new ones here. I don't know what he's got priced on those. How you doing, man? How's it going? Doing pretty good. Okay, so he's got She-Ra here. He's also got Mantena. I'm trying to debate between which one of these I'm going to get. I think I'm going to get him. These are really cool figures. I'm loving these filmation figures. Alright, so he's got uh, quite a few Mezcos going on here. Big convention, you gotta 
Hulk up there. Let's see what else he's got. All right, he's got the Ninja Turtle video game figures. Those are cool. All right, got the archive figs. Let's see as far as Black Series. No one that stands out. But he does have this three pack. If you missed that from the Comic Con, or what was that? San Diego Comic Con. You got that? That's pretty cool. He's got some loose figs here. He's got Jedi Luke, Yoda. But I don't think anybody's going to buy this, especially since they're redoing it with the archive. Vader. I bet they'll end up redoing that one too. Looking forward to that. Right. That looks like a custom. That's interesting. <laughs> That's a custom. Wow. That's kind of neat. Alright, so I just picked up something from Roma's booth. Um, definitely check him out. He always seems to have the best booze at the local toy shows that I go to. So check him out. He was a really nice guy. Sit and talk with me for a while, so I really appreciated that. Gave me a really good deal on this figure, so I couldn't pass it up. So thanks again to you, Roma, for that. And so I'm going to try to find another booth with some cool stuff to just show you. Hello, how are you? So do you make these? No, you don't? Okay. I was curious how they got made. My son makes them. Your son does? Yeah. How does he do it? Twist the wires. Really? Does. Just twisting the wires? Yeah. Wow. So that's taking him some time. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's pretty amazing. How long has he been doing stuff like this? Eight years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Thank you. All right, so they got some pretty neat paintings here. That's pretty cool. Pretty nice prints. Oh wow, I like that one. It's got Obi-Wan's lightsaber right after he killed him. Oh, General Grievous. That's awesome. I love my Black Series General Grievous, but man, they messed up with that cape. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get, uh, hopefully somebody makes, makes one that you can replace that with. Aftermarket, I guess, maybe. Uh, I have five titles right now. We're working on our sixth and seventh title. Each book has multiple issues, and they're all in their own comic book universe. Mm, okay. Our flagship title, Hot Shot, uh, is about a young man in college living in Columbus. He's trying to prove to his girlfriend he's not cheating on her without revealing he's a superhero and not get kicked out of college because yeah. he's never there because he's a superhero. Social so media, and right now we have something over, or just under 50 comic books that we publish on a regular okay. basis. A lot of successful Kickstarters. Uh, so where can people find you if they want to read your comics or get your comics? Super easy. Uh, www.shortfusemedia.com shortfusemediagroup.com um, You can go to our store and buy them on there. Or you can look us up on Facebook as Shortfuse Media or Freestyle Comics. And that's Comic for the K. Alright man, great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Good talk to you. No problem. Thanks for giving me that moment to shine. Yeah. Alright, so man, they got stuff everywhere. People everywhere. Uh, Ray and Kylo right there. But just stuff everywhere. It's hard to know where to even stop. I guess if you... All kinds of little Lego figures. That's cool. Hey, 
we've got looks like thousands and thousands of Lego figures here. <laughs> How you doing, man? You mind if I film here for a second? Sure, fine. Okay. All right, cool. Do you guys have a store or? Uh, yeah, we're super, we don't have a sign up, but we're super fly comics at Yellow Springs. Oh, okay, local, that's great. So do you sell um, toys also, or are you just mainly? Yeah, toys, comics, games, card games, you name it, we're okay. trying to get it in. <laughs> okay, great. What you, do you guys have a card or something, or a location? I'd love to come out and see you guys sometime. Not too far from Okay, me. so for all you pop collectors, I got a wall of pops here. We'll scan real quick. I don't know if there's anything anybody's looking for in here, but. Wow. Those are kind of neat. How much are your prints? Oh, ten dollars. You buy these online anywhere? No, just here. I don't sell those online. All right, so I am out of the Comic Con, and my thoughts. Well, um, the toy booth pretty good um, I did not get much footage in there and I wish I would have I'm expecting to barely have anything that I actually filmed that I can put into a video uh, I talked to a lot of people a lot of comic book artists and uh, didn't get very many of them on film uh, but had some really cool conversations met a lot of nice people I uh, really had a good time I had a great time talking with the guy at uh, Roma collectibles his booth was great. He's very friendly. So, um, really enjoyed talking to him. Uh, the comics, I'm just, like I said earlier, I'm not really into comics. So, I didn't really get into that part. It was neat seeing people in costumes walking around everywhere. But, I literally walked around that place, looked at all the toy booths probably two times. And, in about an hour and 15 minutes, and I'm leaving. <laughs> So, uh, like I said, I don't think I got a lot of footage, but um, I did get something. I just got a notification on my phone, so that ding is probably going to show up in the video. So, I got something awesome. Thanks to Roma Collectibles and very shocked at the price he gave it to me at. If I can get it out of the box. So, great figure, great price. It's a Filmation. He had a ton of He-Man figures there. He, classics and a lot of Filmation. But what I ended up with was a Mantena, and I didn't even pay that price. He gave me way off that. So, very grateful and happy about this guy. Wow. That is a cool figure. That is a cool figure. So, I will get home, get this thing unboxed, and uh, talk about it. Alright, so, my wife is currently looking for in-game tickets. That's the notification that you heard. It was a text from her. So we are going to go see Endgame tonight and looking forward to it. If you did see it and you liked it or if you didn't like it, put spoiler free comments in this video. I would appreciate it. Just curious on who liked it and who didn't. So let's keep it spoiler free though for everyone who hasn't seen it. But that is it. I'm going to head home and uh, we'll go from there. So see ya. All right, so we made it home from Avengers Endgame, and it was awesome. We really, really enjoyed it. So what I wanted to show you was what I got at the Gem City Comic Con earlier today. And so we will start off with... He won't even tell me what he got. With Grayskull. It is 
Masters of the Universe Filmation. Mantena. I already showed you in the car earlier, so. I love this guy. Got a terrible glare. But got a Mantena. So I want to get this guy out of the packaging and we'll show you all the stuff that he comes with. I got nope. haircut. Well, I got this guy out of the package and holy cow. He is awesome. Great quality. Great quality. Yeah, he is uh, absolutely fantastic. I mean, every one of these I get, I say, oh, it's just like you stepped out of the cartoon. But truthfully, this one is phenomenal. I mean, the face looks fantastic. Uh, his body, his extra set of legs. It's got shading all over it. I don't know if you can pick it up, but all of, it's not just a flat blue skin. <coughs> He's got these dark spots. And even his face is not just red. He's got like some dark some dark on his face and on the top of his head. It's not really coming through, uh, but just really nice, some good shading. So, some extra accessories that he comes with. He comes with his gun, which is a really nice gun. What do you think, Tori? Pretty nice? <laughs> so he's got these extra hands, which if I had to guess, that was for holding the weapon, I think. I'm guessing that that's what these hands are for. Probably better than what these hands are. I don't know. I'll have to find out. And the best accessory, which I should have already had this open. Sorry. Give me a moment. If you remember, if you had the 1980s original toy, he had this little switch on his back. You would push up and it would make his eyeballs pop out. Just like in the cartoon. Well, this doesn't have that feature, but he does have a head with the eyeballs <coughs> popping out. Which is definitely how I'm going to pose him, was with his eyeballs sticking out. So let's go ahead and get this head swapped out. So it was pretty tricky getting his head on. <coughs> and honestly, I don't even think I quite have it on right yet. His neck is not quite tilted right, but I'll mess with it, but it's on there okay. You get the point. So, like I said, if you get this guy and you're trying to put this head on, be careful. I about broke one of his eyeballs off by putting too much pressure trying to push it on. I wasn't focusing on the fact that I was pushing on his eye. So, wouldn't that be a bummer if I just literally yes. broke his eyeball off <laughs> straight out of the package? Yeah. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, really nice looking figure. I really like it. I think out of all the He-Man figures I got, he probably is the neatest figure. Um, just because he definitely looks different with the four legs and uh, the eyeballs popping out. He just really nice figure. So I'm going to go ahead and get him posed up and get him put on my shelf. So that is the end of the video. <coughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the footage that I got at the Comic Con. Like I said, I don't know how much footage I really did get, but I had a great time. I talked to a lot of artists at their booth, and unfortunately I didn't get a lot of that uh, recorded, but I did get some. And uh, thanks again to Roma Collectibles for the really good deal on this. Um, normally I would put... Um, his information down in the description but I'm just gonna go ahead and show his card so if you ever want to check out Roma collectibles you could see him there and his info on the back of the card see his website and Facebook <coughs> and Instagram so thanks again Roma collectibles for the good deal and for spending some time talking with me I really enjoyed it so that is the end of the video. Rating on the toy. Rating on the Ooh. toy. Ooh, yeah, rating on the toy. Out of a possible 10, I don't, I don't know anything that I can ding him on. He's got great accessories. He's got great shading. 
Uh, he looks very good, very uh, cartoon accurate. So I don't have any reason to not give him a 10. So all around, a very, very good figure. I really like him a lot. So I'll give him a 10. 10 for me. Nine and a half. All right, so if this is your first time at my channel, we do toy hunts. We do unboxings. And uh, I don't know, we do a lot of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below if you did go to the Comic-Con today. And also if you did like this figure. And consider subscribing to the channel. We would greatly appreciate it. So until next time, we'll see you again. Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>